What if Japan's travel could be completely changed by a single high-speed rail line that reduced travel times and redefined transportation using cutting-edge technology? Imagine a train that can run at astonishing speeds, connecting big cities in a matter of minutes and bringing in a new era of productivity and creativity. This is a modern engineering marvel, more than just a railway, that will completely change the way people travel in Japan. The Chuo Shinkansen, Japan's ambitious maglev line being built between Tokyo and Nagoya with aspirations to reach Osaka, is a monument to human inventiveness and technical prowess. The Tokaido Shinkansen, which linked Tokyo and Osaka and created a demand for even faster travel, is where this project first began. Japanese National Railways started working on maglev technology in the 1970s, and by then, a 7-kilometer test track was built in Miyazaki Prefecture. After the first test showed encouraging results, the project was expanded, and in Yamanashi Prefecture, an 18.4-kilometer test track with slopes, tunnels and bridges were constructed. The potential of the upcoming Chuo Shinkansen was tested on this new location. Riding these test trains, which routinely exceeded 500 kilometers per hour, thrilled over 200,000 people and demonstrated the amazing possibilities of maglev technology. With more extensions, the test track reached 42.8 kilometers, enabling more thorough testing and public rides via lottery in 2014. Securing its place in the annals of transportation history, the Chuo Shinkansen's maglev train even broke the world record for the fastest manned train. The Chuo Shinkansen's route is as creative as it is strategic. Travel time is much reduced by its more direct route than the existing Tokaido Shinkansen, which passes through the sparsely populated Japanese Alps. This straight path not only reduces traffic on the Tokaido line, but also offers a vital backup in the event that natural calamities like earthquakes cause delays. Above the requirements of conventional Shinkansen lines, the design ensures smooth, high-speed travel with a minimum curve radius of 8,000 meters and a maximum gradient of 4%. Planning the route has been impacted by political and regional factors. There was debate at first about whether the line should go through Kyoto, but in the end, the Transport Ministry confirmed in 2013 that a route through Nara was preferred. This route, which begins at Shiganawa Station in Tokyo, was selected because it is both practical and affordable, even though some plans call for a northern swing through Nagano Prefecture. Official work on the project started on December 17, 2014, after the Japanese Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport, and Tourism approved the selected route. With its lengthy tunnels beneath the Japanese Alps, this scheme was judged to be the most cost and time effective. Broad access will be ensured by the construction of stations in the prefectures of Yamanashi, Gifu, Nagano, and Kanagawa. Building of the 220-meter tall Nagoya Station new building signaled the beginning of preparatory work at the station in 2016. Together with representing the future, this building blends in perfectly with the cityscape by housing the maglev station in its basement. Plans call for the Chuo Shinkansen line to eventually reach Osaka in addition to Tokyo and Nagoya. Along with stops at Sagamihara, Kofu, Ida, and Nakatsugawa, the first section links Shinagawa Station in Tokyo to Nagoya Station. With the exception of Shizuka, every prefecture along the route has one station. At a top speed of 500 km per hour, the line promises to transform travel times, cutting the trip from Tokyo to Nagoya to just 40 minutes and eventually from Tokyo to Osaka to 67 minutes. 90% of the 286-kilometer journey to Nagoya will be subterranean. Modern engineering at its finest, this massive tunneling keeps the maglev line direct and efficient, avoiding the traffic of more populated areas and preserving high-speed travel across Japan's varied landscape. December 2007 saw JR Central make the audacious declaration that it would provide independent funding for the Chuo Shinkansen project independent of government support. Estimated to cost 5.1 trillion yen in 2007, the budget had swelled to over 9 trillion yen in 2011. 
even with the spiraling expenses, JR Central anticipated a pre-tax profit of about 70 billion yen by 2026, once operating costs leveled off. The project's enormous tunneling is mostly to blame for its startling cost. 86% of the first section, which runs from Tokyo to Nagoya, will be submerged, with sections as deep as 40 meters. This equates to 100 kilometers of tunnels in the crowded cities of Tokyo, Nagoya, and Osaka. JR Central's initial 2013 construction schedule sought to open the Tokyo-Nagoya segment by 2027 and the Nagoya-Osaka segment by 2045 in order to manage the financial burden. This timeline was designed to keep the company's total debt burden around 5 trillion yen, similar to its level at privatization. However, a government loan allowed JR Central to accelerate the completion of the Nagoya-Osaka segment to 2037. Expected to be finished in 2025, the project's first significant contract was a 7-kilometer tunnel in the prefectures of Yamanashi and Shizuka. Under the southern Japanese Alps, work on a 25-kilometer tunnel got underway on December 20, 2015. Overtaking the Daishimizu Tunnel on the Jotsu Shinkansen Line, this tunnel will be the deepest in Japan, measuring about 1,400 meters. At Shinagawa, beneath the current Shinkansen Station, work has also started on the Maglev Station. To minimize interruptions to the Takedo Shinkansen services above, this new station, which has two platforms and four tracks, is scheduled for a 10-year building period. According to JR Central, Chuo Shinkansen fares will be only marginally more than Tokaido Shinkansen fares. The difference between Tokyo and Nagoya is estimated to be 700 yen, and between Tokyo and Osaka to be 1,000 yen. Over its first 50 years of operation, the Chuo Shinkansen is expected to produce an economic impact of between 5 and 17 trillion yen. The Chuo Shinkansen section in Shizuka Prefecture has not yet begun construction because of worries about water from the Oi River seeping into the tunnel and possibly lowering water levels. Some analysts think the true problem is Shizuka Prefecture's plan to build a new train station on the Takedo Shinkansen beneath Shizuka Airport, which JR Central has opposed because of its close proximity to current stations. Officials in Shizuka halted tunnel building in June 2020, endangering the Tokyo-Nagoya Line's opening in 2027. Governor Haita Kawakatsu, re-elected in 2021, maintained opposition unless JR Central addressed water concerns. Meetings facilitated by the Ministry of Transportation resulted in a December 2021 interim report. While JR Central pledged to return water post-construction, no feasible method exists to return it during construction. In January 2022, Shizuka's governor continued to oppose the project. To lessen effects, JR Central and Tokyo Electric Power Company came to a deal in December 2023 to extract less water from the dam on the Oi River. After Governor Kawakatsu left office in April 2024, Maglev supporter Yasutomo Suzuki won the ensuing re-election in May 2024, which raised hopes for project approval. But that's not even the most interesting part of this project or this engineering marvel. Let's delve into the heart of the Chuo Shinkansen and explore how this groundbreaking train actually works. JR Central created SC Maglev technology, a wonder of contemporary engineering for the Chuo Shinkansen. Chuo Shinkansen can travel at previously unheard of speeds because this magnetic levitation system removes the friction that afflicts conventional trains. This technology works because of the way superconducting magnets on the trains and coils buried in the track interact. Using liquid helium, superconducting coils constructed of a niobium-titanium alloy are chilled to an astoundingly low temperature of negative 269 degrees Celsius or negative 452 degrees Fahrenheit. Reaching superconductivity, a condition in which electrical resistance equals zero and strong magnetic fields can be produced, needs this extreme cooling. The secret to both levitation and propulsion is in these magnetic fields. Here's how it functions. Levitation. The train rests on rubber wheels when it is motionless. 
Interacting with the superconducting magnets on the train are alternating magnetic fields produced by the magnetic coils on the track as it moves. Lift produced by this interaction raises the train above the track. At a specific speed, the train becomes completely levitated and hovers around 10 centimeters above the track. Wheel friction is removed by this levitation, which speeds up and smooths out travel. Train propulsion is accomplished by the same magnetic coils that lift it off the ground. The train moves along the track by a push and pull effect produced by JR Central Engineers, precisely regulating the alternating currents in the coils. The superconducting magnets on the train and the track coils create an attraction and repulsion system that enables quick acceleration and deceleration. This technology offers a ton of advantages. The Chuo Shinkansen can travel at far faster speeds and with smoother rides than traditional high-speed trains because there is no friction from wheels on rails. Not to mention, especially at high speeds, it has remarkable energy efficiency. The maglev train is still more efficient than contemporary aircraft, even though it operates mostly in tunnels, which adds to air resistance. For instance, the L0 series maglev train uses just 90 to 100 watt-hours per seat kilometer between Tokyo and Osaka, compared to the Airbus A319neo's around 209 watt-hours per seat kilometer over long distances. Because it runs only on electricity, which can be obtained from renewable sources, this efficiency not only saves energy, but also makes the maglev train a more sustainable choice. Due to this amazing technology, Chuo Shinkansen has established multiple world records for speed. On December 2, 2003, the MLX-01, a three-car maglev train, set a record of 581 km per hour during a manned run. It also set a record for the fastest passing of two trains at a combined speed of 1,026 km per hour on November 16, 2004. The latest iteration, the L0 series, hit a staggering 603 km per hour on April 21, 2015 during a test run. In 2020, the improved L0 series began operations on the test track, representing 80-90% to 90 of the final design goals for commercial operation. Showcasing the developments in maglev technology, the improved L0 series draws power directly from the track unlike earlier models that depended on onboard gas generators. Beyond simply a train, the Chuo Shinkansen is a technological breakthrough that raises the bar for high-speed travel by fusing efficiency, speed, and sustainability. This is how rail will operate in the future, making the trip from Tokyo to Nagoya and then Osaka swift and easy. Promising to link Tokyo and Nagoya in just 40 minutes and eventually Tokyo and Osaka in around an hour, the Chuo Shinkansen is a quantum leap in transportation. It is a prime illustration of how cutting-edge technology can transform infrastructure, shorten travel times, and improve connectivity, changing how people travel and communicate. In what ways, in your opinion, will the Chuo Shinkansen affect high-speed rail technology worldwide and the transportation scene in Japan? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.